away from the kid, away from the kid, away from the kid, but it does. Break, Taz. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we've got another lesson with Taz. And we revealed last week here that Taz has got a driving test coming up. Yeah. Your test is on Monday. Monday, yeah. yeah. So we've got a few days. <laughs> so we said, well, we'll see how this lesson goes. Then yeah. probably do one more, yeah, before your actual test day. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. And obviously on our previous video, we did say it's going to be your last test until we get a test day. And the test day <laughs> came a few Hello. days after that, yeah, which is, which is good. So, yeah, big date's on Monday. What date is that? 10th. 10th of August, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right then, guys. Um, as most of you know, Taz has been using the ultimate driving course, which uh, she's been watching more of now because your test has yeah. <laughs> come up. Yeah, I find everyone does that. When the test is actually, when they get the test, they're like, oh, damn. And Better start, start watching them again. Yeah. So, um, last lesson, what did we do? We just went over my general driving, a few roundabouts, and we went over one manoeuvre. Bay yeah, parking. The bay parking. And roundabouts also, you want to do a few more hills, didn't you? Yeah. And we did that as well. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about all that? I feel a bit more confident with them, just like my roundabouts is my key issue. Cool. Not actually on there, just like going onto a roundabout. Yeah, still like when it's when it's busy, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is so there something you want to do today then? Yeah. Yeah? So just focus on general driving and roundabouts. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, no, I don't think How so. How do you feel about all your manoeuvres? I think they're okay, as long as I just do them like once before my test. Yeah, we'll definitely do yeah. them once before you're testing it. Have you recapped on the videos and that? Yeah. Good. Um, okay, so in today's lesson, do you think you need any help on anything? I don't think so. Cool, so I'll just I'll just sit there and just chill really and <laughs> yeah. you can like, uh, you can drive. Yeah. And obviously if I do have to come in for anything, I will. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you why I came in, yeah, okay. So these controls, so at this stage, should I be using them all coming in no. hopefully not yeah hopefully okay so main thing main advice i can give you now is just obviously you can do everything yeah but mistakes happen if you don't keep planning ahead mm -hmm. yeah looking out for stuff remember we looked in lessons before on planning and anticipation yeah yeah keep that up and um again that'll reduce the chance of making any fault yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah so full responsibility is with you then because i'm just gonna sit here and i've put the sat nav on yeah and because uh, we did did we did discuss at the end of last lesson like yeah probably a bit more work on roundabouts yeah. so um from here we're going to go towards west brom which is a nice route quite a few roundabouts on there something different to what we normally do yeah, yeah? and um yeah i'll just leave it to you so you can follow the sat nav because it's been a while since we've Done it. Uh, yeah. practiced that as well yeah and uh yeah, that's it really. So, whenever you're ready, Taz, move off. Mm -hmm. So, it may get a bit dark. It may, hopefully, it doesn't, yeah. But do you know how the lights on that work? Um, it's these ones here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you want to put the front ones on. Do you twist that forward? That's it, you just twist it, it puts the front and, and back your um, lights on, yeah, your okay. headlights on, and yeah. headlights on as well. So whenever you're ready, move off. Then at the end of the road, if you could turn left and then follow the sat nav. Yeah, the end of the road, turn left, left. yeah? Because then we can go on a route where there's more roundabouts. Okay. Brake, Taz. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. And carry on when you're ready, yeah? Don't, 
Well, we'll, we'll chat about that in a bit, yeah. Okay, focus on this turn. We're going to turn left, not right, yeah. Turn right. Breaking yeah. slightly, yeah. Okay, almost old. Do you know why? Um, did I come off the clutch too fast? No, clutch was fine. No gas. Yeah. Use the gas a little bit late. Now follow the sat nav, please. Okay, while waiting at the lights, we can talk about what happened at that pedestrian crossing. What happened there? Yeah. I didn't notice it on time. Like, you I saw it there, but I just didn't react to it. Yeah, you didn't react to what? The people who were about to cross. Yeah, they actually stepped on it as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, you know how pedestrian crossings work, yeah. So, um, and what, what they say at the start, what do you have to really keep doing continuously throughout, you know, when you're driving? So, no, it's not just for your test, but like, just all the time. Yeah, plan and uh, just plan ahead. Look out for what's coming up. Yeah. As soon as you see saw the crossing, yeah, what should you start doing? Slowing down. Not really slowing down. Be prepared to stop. But even before that. Check if there's anyone. Turn there. right. Yes, yeah, scan scan the pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Obviously, oh, so you know what the risks involved there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, hit someone. Exactly. So, with any other pedestrian crossings, do you want me to help you in any way? Point them out, or are you going to be okay with dealing with them? I'll be okay. Okay. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. the way you entered it, positioning, all good. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. And as well as stalling, yeah, when you don't, you, uh, because I'm not using the gas, you're going to find yourself moving. Because you're doing one in the evening though, there's 
might be less likely, but yeah. we'll see. Maybe doing a lesson in rush hour should be good. help you out with using the gas just keep doing what you're doing there yeah okay i see if something keeps happening then i will come in and start after helping you, yeah. 400 yards cross the roundabout second exit Speed limit? 40. Say it again? 40. Okay, so did you see the two signs there? No. no that's why I, I showed, that's why I asked the question afterwards. Only check if you saw the signs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the sign said 30. Okay. You did reach 30 just as you got to the signs, which is good. I, that, I, that's why I, I was thinking you've seen the signs, mm -hmm. but obviously you didn't. What's the risk of not noticing the signs? Obviously going. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Take the exit. So, remember when we had that lesson, when we started starting following, you used to like miss them out quite a bit, yeah? Yeah. And what did we do to solve that issue? I just tell you when I see one. Yeah, every time you saw a sign, you, you used to tell me there's a sign there, there's a sign there. Did that work? Yeah. Yeah. Just talk to yourself about it, yeah? But you've got to find a way where you're always aware. Like with the pedestrian crossing, there's a pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Like what's our vehicle doing ahead? There's some lights coming up, yeah? That's another crossing there, you can tell. Yeah, because there's zigzag markings and you can see there's a box, a yellow box on the side. Is anybody waiting there? Is anybody behind you? Is anybody overtaking you? Yeah, that's what you've got to be thinking constantly, it does. Yeah? Like I said to you earlier. 400 yards, cross the roundabout, third exit. She always interrupts me. <laughs> like I said to you, if you keep doing that, yeah, this, it's very less likely like you'll make a fault. Yeah. Cross the roundabout, third exit. did uh, wrong there. It didn't really affect us massively though, yeah? yeah. Well, like you said. It's still really cars behind us. Yeah. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Like, what's happening ahead? Do you, you want me to ask you, like, 
a question every so often like what can you see ahead what's happening behind do you think that will help you with your I feel like it'll probably help me a bit more being like aware of everything cool let's do that then yeah okay so what could happen to the lights they could change yeah. anybody behind you should we be in? That's it. Do you know what the risks are of staying in a lower gear where we don't need to? Any idea? Um, can you not slow you down? No, not really, because you were still doing like around 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Okay, um, so if you stay in a higher gear, yeah, use up more fuel. Okay. Costing me more, costing me more money really. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, after you pass, yeah, if you get used to just driving in lower gears, it's gonna Cost, yeah, cost you more as well in fuel. Anybody overtaking? There's a car there. Normally you, I would have just waited. The assist well. really was going. Yeah. Good. Okay, what's happening ahead? Traffic slowing down. Why? Because there's a crossing. What kind of crossing? Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was it for crossing. <laughs> that was it for okay. crossing. Okay. So you're at the end of this lesson when you go back home, what video are you gonna watch it's on the little driving course? Video. Yeah, the pedestrian crossing one, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you gotta recop on that definitely, yeah. Okay, now yeah, let's um, let's change the level of help. Yeah, how would uh, how do you think this is if we 
Um, instead of me just keep telling you oh, what's coming up ahead, what's coming up, you tell me. Okay. Yeah? So I can see what level your awareness is at, yeah? Okay. So I want you to talk as much as you can about any risks, like way ahead, not like this car here. Yeah. Yeah? Well, you can see way ahead, what's happening behind, anything coming up, any crossings, so any signs changing, yeah? I want to hear you talking to us. Everyone watching wants so to see good planning. The works coming up. And That's the it. Little, what do you call it? Lights. That's it, little lights. <laughs> lights coming up. <laughs> good. And then, doesn't that mean that the roads are coming not together, but like, you've got to go into that road? That's it. That's why there's a, the traffic lights, they're temporary lights, yeah. so yeah. That's brilliant, but I think you need to talk a little bit louder so everyone else can hear you as well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's people coming, don't worry if you say something doesn't make sense, yeah. Just just say as long as it helps you with the planning on, on what's going on. Like that was good, like park cars, yeah, temporary traffic lights. Go on, just keep talking. There's traffic lights down there. It's not really a hazard, but yeah. Yeah, but still, yeah, at least you, like, what could happen to the lights, you could be thinking just that. Turn red. Yeah. We're continuing straight ahead, yeah. Could have talked about it's the left lane. lane. Left lane goes late left only. Yeah. So I'm using this lane. Come on, talk. There's traffic lights, so Good. they could turn red. So someone could cross. That's it. There's pedestrians here. Good. So, so you know, traffic lights control the traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that? Sorry. What was that? Like that was. Um, I want to call it traffic lights, yeah. No, it's no, a pedestrian that's crossing. it, pedestrian crossing, yeah. There's a difference. Could, like, come forward. That's it. Sometimes it's good to talk about what's happening behind you as well. It's a bit close. That's it. So would it be safe to just work on our brake here now? No. That's it. So even at this point, if the lights change, we're going to continue because it's yeah. falling quite close here, like you said. Come on, talk, talk, talk. Um, there could be cyclists. There's like a sharp bend ahead. Yeah. So there could be parked cars. That's it. This is not an easy thing to do, yeah. Probably hating doing this, yeah. It's a bus, <laughs> and it could, like, I don't know. Someone could walk out in front of those cars over there. That's it, good. Just thinking of every possible hazard, yeah, and being ready for it, just ready for it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, every time you see something, you're not just whacking on the brake or anything, yeah, but yeah. you're just prepared. Okay, we're going to return mini roundabout, yeah. At the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right second exit, please. If you could turn left, first exit. Well done. Um, pedestrian crossing. Yeah. <laughs> Traffic lights are good. Good. Crossing. I pedestrian. That's it. I could cross them. Have they pressed the button? No, but they're going to. Yeah. The 
round about turn left please. That's so you need to be doing like we did that pedestrian crossing, yeah. Okay. Just plan if there is a pedestrian there, have they pressed that was like really good how you approach that, yeah. Now this for yeah, turn right, please stay at exit at the roundabout. follow the markings yes you, again you said there I could have gone there yeah mm -hmm. but the main thing is you're aware of what you could have done better yeah okay Approach to the roundabout, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many lanes were there? Three. Yeah, and which which lane do we normally use for going straight ahead? Left. Yeah, unless. Stayed, unless I'm going to come off on the right lane. Yeah, or. or like, the right. Yeah, but how can you tell if you can use that lane or you can't use that lane? You'll see the arrows. Yeah, were there any arrows there? No. So could we have used that lane? Yeah. That's it. But the way you did it was fine as well, yeah, you, you selected the middle lane just and then the right yeah, you could have come the off left. in the right, but you, you check your mirrors though, yeah, before you came over to the left, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you kind of did change lanes on the on the roundabout, but it was yeah. okay because you checked your mirrors, it's fine to do, yeah. I see, good. Okay, so you know when you said there were traffic lights coming up ahead, yeah? Mm -hmm. What colour were the lights? Green. Nah. These lights? Yeah, these lights, yeah. Oh, they were red. So yeah, they were red, yeah. Down. Yeah. Well, what did you do with your speed? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you increased it, yeah. And then obviously you were talking about what's going up ahead and you got really close to the curb there. Okay, here now if you could uh, turn left, please. Yeah. yeah. You know, that kind of speed, yeah, if you'd hit the curb there. Would have done damage. Yeah. You could have even lost control. I'll say with your position, we've seen you driving, do you normally have any issues with your positioning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think we need to go back to reference points or anything like that? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I think I'll be okay. Well, we'll, see if he, we'll see if he happens again, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've had to just touch the, yeah, touch the steering to move you away. So, so do you think like as your test is getting closer, how, you, how, how is it making you feel? Um, very stressed. Very stressed? Yeah. Okay. And obviously... I'm a lot more scared about when I'm driving. Okay. So, select gear 2 for me please. I see. Now we know we're definitely going to need gear 1, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now gear 1's okay, yeah? Do yeah. See, what if these lights had changed slightly sooner? Yeah, what would... We needed to go on to go on. Yeah, exactly. And if you'd brought the clutch up here when we didn't need to and we were still moving at a decent speed, yeah, what would happen? What would gear one into that? Just to our speed? Down. Yeah. Or was there a vehicle close behind as well? Yeah. Exactly. At 
the traffic lights continue straight ahead, please. So here's the lights. Let's see if you can show me when the correct time is. Just let gear one now, yeah. That's it, yeah. Just before you're gonna stop, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it's making you feel more stressed that your test is going to be closer, yeah? yeah? I'm kind of scared that I'm going to make a silly mistake on my test. Yeah, but you know if you feel more stressed than that, yeah? You think that's going to help you with your driving? No. Like today? See so yeah, how these mistakes, this is normal, these kind of mistakes are creeping because like you said, you, when people know the test is coming up, a lot of people do feel like you're feeling at the moment more stressed and nervous, yeah? And like I said, with you, and I think it's helped that we've told everyone as well, yeah? <laughs> everyone knows when, you're, when your test is. But or not. don't let that pressure get to you, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, everyone deals with pressure. They're like in their own different ways. Yeah. yeah. Right. At this roundabout, if you could go left, second exit, please. One Brexit. We're we taking Taz. Second. You'll, hopefully you'll work it out, yeah. I'm in the wrong lane. No, we are going left second exit. So, the the, the lane's correct. Oh. <laughs> it's not there. See, look at the lights are red, you had enough time to work it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what's the risk of... The people who class behind us. So they probably wouldn't expect it. What, the si No, what's the risk of the signal? They yeah. would have thought we were going left. Yeah. Exit. And then, you know if there's people waiting to emerge out yeah. of the first exit, yeah. They wouldn't stop for us. Yeah. They just enter the roundabout, yeah, because they would think we're turning left. Continue talking about the the hazards yeah. that you can see, yeah. Okay. Anything that you can see when you're driving because we've we have a uh, quietened down a bit, haven't we? Mm -hmm. This mask is looking down. Well then good mirrors and good use of the gas there. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every single lesson. I think someone even caught. 
Com did this. The CEO of Morgas Morgas. <laughs> We're going straight ahead. Second exit. Yeah. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, yeah, I but like I said... It has you, helped a lot though. Yeah. But I want you to like... Obviously, even if you don't want to do it out loud, but you've always got to be thinking. Yeah. Yeah, what's that sign say? What's coming up here? That's the... Like, we know you can do every single topic that we could do covered it, yeah. Okay, but like you said, you know how you said you're scared you're going to make a mistake? Yeah. yeah do if this, trust me. Then I won't. Yeah, well, you just keep thinking, keep thinking. Like the couple of mistakes that have happened today, like with the pedestrian crossing that first one, yeah. Yeah. Why did that happen? Because I wasn't observing as much. Yes. Yeah. We're thinking about like what's coming up ahead, what's happening. At the traffic lights, if you could turn right, please, Taz. Is that the good turn right? That's it, good. a bit too much you know because I passed it just as I was about to turn red. Yeah. So I should have just carried on. I see. Did you carry on? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Pedestrians are good there. Well done. But yeah. Like I said on the approach yeah, you probably slow down just a, a little bit too much. Yeah a little bit too much yeah. Okay but again nothing majorly too much wrong with that yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay that we weren't really holding up any traffic behind us yeah. But then you made the correct decision, but you know when you saw the light change, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people just work on the brake there. Yeah. Yeah, well because we were over the line. Good, good decision. You know, pop into the test centre and um, like driving in and driving out, are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah? But yeah. you wanna, so should we leave going in? Uh, no, we can go in, otherwise. Are you gonna go in, you wanna practice yeah. that? So we have done it uh, before, but it has been a while now, hasn't it? Yeah. too fast, wasn't too slow, just right. I'm gonna be so scared just coming in thinking I'm going too fast. At the end of the road if you could turn right please. Well then good observations. And if you could park up on the left for me, Taz. Okay. Anything the lesson's gone so far? I think besides that first mistake come out at the beginning, I think it's gone okay. Good. I think. Yeah. Um, like you said, I think it's interesting you saying like um, you feel more under pressure and stressed, mm -hmm. yeah? And do you think that's gonna affect of, uh, have an effect on your driving? Um, you know, if you feel stressed, yeah? I feel like it, well, yeah. If I stress okay. myself, I feel yeah. like I wanna make like, more stupid mistakes. Yeah, so you gotta find a way of um, dealing with that stress, yeah? Obviously, it, uh, anybody watching there, yeah, like I think I'd say nine out of 10 people do get stressed and mm -hmm. anxious about their driving test when it's coming up, yeah? Yeah. Okay, but look, worst case scenario, like I said to you before, if you do fail, yeah, there's nothing to be too devastated about. Well, it's going to go and rebook it again. Obviously, about now, like, it's not the best time to fail because <laughs> test dates probably have to wait a while, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then we'll just go for it again. It's just about 
making sure you're at the correct standard of, of driving, which you are. But like I said, with that stress, it's like, you know, when people have their exams and that. Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, you know, I've found this, yeah, I'm sure the instructors have and even learners have, yeah. You know, when people have their exams and that, yeah, and they come out for a driving lesson and they're so stressed out about their exams. Like, you guys get stressed yeah, about yeah. your exams, yeah, when you have your exams coming up. exams and doing driving lessons. Yeah, and that hasn't, uh, we find like other learners who are driving brilliantly and they've come out, like, you're on a first start, it's like, what's happened here? I was something gone wrong. Am I doing something wrong? But then I, I it, it was just like a, a pattern that was happening when people were having their exams. Their driving was like all over the place, mm-hmm. yeah, because of that stress. And then uh, I used to ask people then, like, you got your exams coming up. Do you want to leave your lessons for a bit? Yeah, because you're gonna be, uh, it might t- have an effect on your, uh, on your lessons. Yeah. And just focus on your exams for now and just continue with your driving after your exams have found that helped. Yeah. Yeah, but I definitely know that stress. And um, being anxious about it, yeah, it just it, it, like I said, it's gonna your level of driving standard is gonna drop, yeah. So you gotta find a way of dealing with dealing it. with it, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. but think of the worst case scenario. Don't really stress you out. Yeah, yeah, it's not uh, that that big a deal. We'll just go for it again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, try and get rid of that. Yeah, anyway, you can. I'm not an expert on that. Yeah, okay, but I know of one thing. I know it, it doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, I think that'd be a uh, good topic on a video. Um, how to deal with it? Yeah, how to deal with it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll work on that. I think mm-hmm. we might fit in another video just on dealing with stress for your driving test. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Um, yeah, but looking at the signs. Yeah, talking to yourself, but not even talking, just thinking. But oh yeah, that's coming up. That's coming up. I can see that happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Con- you need to continuously doing that. Yeah. I said, not just for your driving test, even after you pass. Yeah. You got to keep doing that because that's what's going to help you plan and avoid like risky situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You, what we got about 15 minutes left. Yeah. Do you think you can do that now and just like even if you don't want to say it, just keep planning ahead, please, and looking out for stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on from what's going on behind. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, but how have you rounded it been, you reckon? I think they've been okay, probably just because it's not that busy. Yeah, but yeah. the I think three roundabouts where we have had cars, mm-hmm. have you dealt with that? Good. Yeah, just that one roundabout where you said, oh, I could have gone there. Yeah. Yeah, you missed a slight gap, but that'll get better as you get more and more experience. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but uh, I think they were really, really good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any, any questions? Um, no. Cool. Shall we just carry on with um, a few more roundabouts or is there anything else you want to do? Like we've got about 15 minutes still, 15 um, to 20 minutes. I don't mind, we could just carry on with roundabouts. Yeah, okay, and so, yeah, last 15, 20 minutes, shall we do like, I just spot any faults yeah. and tell you as soon as you make a fault? Yeah. Yeah, but um, I think uh, the couple of faults you did make, you, 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 you've been telling me anyway, oh, I could have yeah. gone there, should have <laughs> done that here. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have got gear one here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, trying not to make any false think of you as your test now mm-hmm. yeah yeah so right we've got to turn the car back around yeah it's so on your test day do you know what happens on your test day no no oh when i go in there yeah oh yeah 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 so we have to park in the car park okay yeah and then we um basically we, the it has changed a little bit yeah now um again i think we could do another we could do another video on that really I yeah and we will do test day. yeah what happens on the on the test day so yeah, we've got a good couple of video ideas as well. I'm only <laughs> always struggling for different video ideas. Yeah, um, yeah. So we'll definitely go through that. Um, how to help be stressed and that, and what actually happens in your test day as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, that, that's the test in the car. But that's where we park. That's where you start the test from. Yeah, with the examiner. Yeah. And um, what they're doing different now is if you do make a serious mistake, they bring you back straight away. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, they don't tell you, but if you're coming back to the test centre ten minutes into your test, you're it's, know. Not, it's, it's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Um, so let's uh, move off from here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn the car around. So how would you turn the car around from here now? I just go that way. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. And don't worry about um, going onto that other. You know that's not marked as a road. Yeah. Yeah. You c- you can go on that as well. I so you should be able to do it just in in one turn. One. Yeah. Okay, that's fine.
Hold in. Hold in. Good mirror check. If you could turn left here, please. Okay, at the end of the road here, if you could turn right, please. If you could turn right, please. <laughs> this helpful, don't do that more test. Again. Well then. That's good observations there, yeah. Again, if, if that did happen, the examiner would just do what I just did there. Just yeah, like it, 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 it will direct you again, yeah. But even if you did turn left, yeah. is there a fault? Yeah, no. No? So don't so worry if you, do, if, you, yeah, if you do go the wrong way. So if you're in a position to turn left, yeah, and you didn't like it, even the second time around if you didn't register, yeah. and you're in that position to turn left, yeah, okay, and you're at the end of that road now, yeah, mm -hmm. would it be safe to turn right from that okay. position? No? So just just turn left, yeah. Do what's safe. And the examiner will it's um, change the route. Or just um, obviously direct you to get back onto the route. Yeah. So there's parked cars, a couple of people coming out behind them. Um, there's traffic lights coming off down there. Good. Okay. 
it. Okay, no more sign for you. Now this roundabout, if you can turn right third exit. He was an oldie back for anyone. Oh dear. Get this roundabout coming up. If you could turn right, third exit, which is a U turn, please. So I can go back onto the big roundabout. Too. Roundabout turn right third exit. Keep to the left of it, please, Taz. To the left. He's off the gas to touch. Is it safe to move over to the right lane? It. Good. What do you think I should do? Move over to the right lane. Um, because this car's not turning around. That's it. Good. Well, it's not. It's going to turn around. Yeah. And should we keep driving in this lane now? Okay. So on that roundabout that we just did, yeah. Yeah. I moved over to the right of now. So you've been following the marked, the spiral marking really yeah. well, yeah. Okay, on the previous round, on that one you went back over there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your speed as well. See, before you used to be too slow, yeah, that was like... Too fast. Too fast. I asked you to ease off the gas a little bit there, yeah. And the risk of going too fast, especially when you're steering, yeah, that could cause the car to skid as well. Especially when you're turning and accelerating yeah. quite fiercely. Continue straight ahead here, please, now. So, try and like, um, you know how you've done all the other roundabouts today, yeah? You know, you speed on. Yeah. yeah it's been it's been good. So, we don't want to be accelerating too much. So, you don't want to be too slow either, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, at this roundabout now, coming up, you've got to turn right, third exit. Uh, let's say you do this roundabout now, yeah? Follow the marking mode there, yeah. What's the risk of like going back over into that lane, yeah, like you did uh, at the previous roundabout? So, if there's like cars behind me, well, not behind me, who are in that lane, they're not gonna expect me to move over, yeah. so like they could like hit the car or something. And also, so I'll get into the road, we're turning left. It could be misjudging us out to people thinking that I might end up going that way, yeah. Okay, you could be going back round to another exit and it's also going to make it difficult for you to exit over yeah because yeah, then you'll have to cut across another lane remember those markings bring you out nicely don't they yeah yeah so it's easy for you to exit as well and lead you to the correct lane you're gonna end up in the wrong lane for your exit yeah if you don't follow it correctly you have to move over after. that's it Plus side is you're always like checking the mirrors at the correct time and making sure it's safe. Yeah, your judgment like for lane changing is really good. The traffic lights turn left, please.
always safe on the left for meters. And if you could switch off your lights and switch off the engine. Okay, so how you seen the lesson? Um, I think it went okay. I think maybe just me and being more aware, like just make sure I talk to myself a lot more. But I think it was all right. Yeah, you don't necessarily necessarily have to talk to yourself. Yeah, you just like it's a good way of uh, just being aware yeah. and taking in what's going on. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's it's always just to switch off and just drive. Just drive. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, thinking, yeah, you you can drive, but any driver doesn't matter if you can do, like I said, you could do all the topics, yeah. But that planning and awareness should always, always be there, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what's going to keep you safe on the roads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. So um, you, you summed up there, yeah. There obviously there were a few mistakes, yeah. Which you kind of sorted out anyway, yeah. They don't like when I say sort out. I don't really need to like spend time. Sorting it like we used to and going over them and giving you pointers for it and helping you because you sort it out yourself mm -hmm. uh, You're at that Obviously, you're at that level now where you where you're driving independently and you know most of the mistakes. Yeah, you're, you're making yeah. but stuff like where I think a few times you used um, A bit too much gas when okay, you didn't really need it roundabouts and approaching those Lights when the lights are red as well. Yeah, and you kept accelerating and then you got too close to the the curb or yeah. to hold the steering Yeah, okay, but it's like it's 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 normal yeah for this kind of stuff to happen you know when your test is booked and you know it's coming up yeah, yeah to start making a few more mistakes but luckily they're happening now so we can sort them out mm -hmm. yeah and half this stuff have you done, done it in the in your previous like recent lessons no no but now you know your test is booked my nerves are just <laughs> yeah. getting the best but it's away. normal for these mistakes that are happening so we could have like we did say we're going to have one more lesson we could have like uh, uh, even more lessons if we need if we only need to yeah mm -hmm. okay might even do a lesson on uh, motorways if you want how would you feel about driving going on the motorway <laughs> could try it because a lot of people have requested like you know in the ultimate driving course uh, because I, I haven't um, done a video on motorways on there because obviously in your test you don't go on the motorway yeah yeah but I think it's a good lesson to do just get you it really obviously on, on, you know on when you're driving at 70 miles an hour uh, what do you think your awareness has to be at, be at what kind of a level lot more like you have to check everywhere yeah. I get scared driving at 50 miles an hour yeah <laughs> so yeah anything like you're scared doing I think it's good to do yeah. on a lesson rather than leaving it to you after you, uh, after you pass. pass. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, um, I should get that video ready in the next couple of days. And if I get that video ready, then, yeah, you can do a lesson on motorways soon mm -hmm. as well, yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, like, even next lesson, I want you to plan what, what you want to go through now, yeah. yeah. Obviously, we'll go through um, maneuvers before your test. We can even do it on the test day because we're going to do an hour before your test, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, if there's anything in particular you think that you need to work on? I'll let you know. Okay, so have a, have a good think about it, even if you don't know now, just make sure you go home, think of it, go through the videos, mm -hmm. go through all the topics, yeah. So especially like we discussed, what do you think you need to go through, like when I asked you about a crossing earlier, you gave me the wrong name on the crossing, so which video are you definitely going to go through today? Pedestrian crossing. Yeah, and that's a detailed video as well, yeah. Yeah. Because like there's a lot of info you know, on there to take, to take in, yeah. Okay. Right, but... um. Yeah, thanks for another lesson to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, guys, uh, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.